Fantastic. So governing 1000 uh, schools across the country, having 40,000 plus teachers and 11 lakh students is a really mammoth task on your shoulders. Uh, what kind of e-governance initiatives are being uh, deployed, are being taken up by the Kendriya Vidyalaya Sangathan? Yeah, this is something uh, where I can say in spite of all uh, technology and uh, connectivity, uh, e-governance in uh, is still we, a lot of uh, things has to be done however we are uh, doing it partially but we can uh, we cannot say ki that uh, is still lot is lot is to be done mm -hmm. that much i can say that in e-governance we may not be having all the features of e-governance at, at present however many things we are doing uh, through automation mm -hmm. but is still uh, much has to be done just in the framework of a school chain having thousand schools what are the Uh, core four or five modules which you think come under the purview of e-governance which will make the quality and access of uh, education at Kendri Vidyalaya Sangathans really supreme? Yeah, so by now uh, we have done uh, some modules in isolation, some modules related to HR and finance mm -hmm. uh, we are having. So uh, transferring of the teachers, uh, their uh, field verification, their salary disbursement, and uh, so a kind of teacher life cycle is available some finance modules are there but still a lot is to be done as far as the child life cycle is concerned and other day-to-day uh, -day activity of the child in the school is to be automated mm -hmm. uh, maybe library ma management maybe attendance management and other uh, cc and other things uh, so we are working on that so innovation is something which is being seen as the buzzword of this era like uh, education or excellence in education has yeah. no meaning when every next day a new innovation is coming through what all is kb doing in that uh, perspective by making the next stage ramanujans ramans and raus yeah as far as innovation is concerned uh, if i say we are having uh, programs for the, we, we we are there uh to take it forward to motivate the children and the teachers we are having innovation awards also we have actually institutionalized the award for innovation and experimentation for teachers mm -hmm. so those te whether they are uh, you know innovations in teaching practices or we are they are uh, innovations in technology mm -hmm. so we are giving uh, every year 10 awards are being given to the teachers those who are coming with the, some innovative practices in the education mm -hmm. or uh, any kind of technological tool or any kind of module if they prepare mm -hmm. in which uh, the life of a teacher can be made simple so those innovations are being awarded so definitely uh, we are continuously looking forward ki uh, uh, people should use innovation to make the life of the teacher and the child in the school simple mm -hmm. what about the innovations at the student level uh, that is quite uh, of paramount importance uh, one of the biggest critique of uh, today's technology is like there is a mobile mania with the students at large and their entire creative energies are being dragged across so how kv is uh, working uh, countering this uh, menace and channelizing that energy into a positive direction well this is something really uh, for good food for thought i will take it <laughs> that uh, as such um, yeah it's a challenge actually you are right that uh, most of the time uh, children are uh, when technology is there but technology is not being used to uh, mm -hmm. definitely create something new or to innovate uh, something useful sometimes they are wasting uh, internet is there but people do not know how to use internet and all that yeah we are doing some work we are sensitizing children how to use the technology for better betterment how technology can be a good friend to find out the ways of learning and other things uh, so I think, but still a lot is to be done, mm -hmm. I feel so. So being someone who has seen a lot of uh, educational governance solutions and teaching learning process automations and all, uh, when in an era when technologies are changing every day, new paradigms are coming, so what kind of a uh, whole matrix of a portfolio you are thinking, uh, uh, one single product s serving all your needs or a bouquet of services and products tied up as per your uh, customized needs uh, would probably uh, solve all your pr uh, challenges and needs of future as well. So actually uh, it will uh, it will be very difficult to say that uh, there will be one thing which will uh, solve every uh, problem of us because you see uh, we are so diverse system no system is as diverse as the mm -hmm. KV is mm -hmm. because uh, we, we are having diversity not only of uh, children, teachers, region, geography, 
culture everything you see we are there in uh, kanyakumari we are there in ladakh we are there in northeast we are there in the west far mm -hmm. west mm -hmm. so our problems are really challenging and uh, no one solution can fit into uh, but definitely a better uh, uh, automation a better training to the teachers mm -hmm. and uh, training is really being thought of uh, that uh, it can uh, it it can go uh, far if we train our teachers on all those technology available we te so uh, we have to make the pace with the changing things mm -hmm. changing scenario whether it's a teaching strategies whether it's a use of the technology in the education lot of training is to be given and uh, we are focusing on that we have recently tied up with the uh, various uh, training institutes we are taking the help of the ignu in training of our teachers one mou has been done with them and we are uh, having other technological partners also as i mentioned Mm -hmm. those who are helping us to train our teachers on various uh, technological and pedagogical issues mm -hmm. and crt is there and many mm -hmm. other uh, institutes are there so uh, we are continuously focusing on that but i do not feel ki there will be one solution uh, one uh, we can say uh, yeah every day we find a new problem and a new mm -hmm. solution has to come up